Today might be a slow day for mods, but it's a big day for Dusty Dave's new map. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 10 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got one new and seven updates. And for PC and Mac, we've got two new. Let's check them out. Your one new mod today for all platforms is going to be Shed. <laughs> this guy right here, it's going to be an $8,000 Shed. Daily price is going to be $10 per day. Can be found in placeables and in building Shed, something like that. And it's a, it's a Shed. Yes. Moving into updates for all platforms today. First, we have the Annaburger HTS 2012. This is going to be version 1.0.1. Changed the log, adjusted the number plate, added white plane, and adjusted the tear weight. Next update for all platforms is going to be the Ursus C355 355M 360 4x4. And we also have one for the 4x2 as well. It's both the same change log version 1.001. Corrected the front lights on the Ursus C355M and improve the cabin door opening. Next up, we've got the Kuhn VB3160. This is going to be update 1.1. It is now available for all platforms. So if you are on console, you do have this to you now. PC players, you've got an update. And the same thing goes for the FarmTech EDK500 TDK900 changelog 1.1. All platforms. Again, if you are on console, this is brand new to you. If you're on PC, just update and you will be all good to go. This is a pretty cool tra trailer pack right here. Both of these mods I have reviewed previously. All you gotta do is search for them. You find everything you need there. Next to last mod update for all platforms today is gonna be Open Shed Changelog 1.1. Seasons Support. This came out a long time ago, like maybe a year ago, something like that. Like near was it new woodshire when new woodshire came out this came out a couple weeks after that did that has been a long time ago there you go season support and your last mod update for all platforms today is going to be the hay shed this is going to be change dog 1.1 again this came out a long time ago change dog 1.1 season's ready so now season supported all good to go making our way into new mods for pc and mac players today we got two of them for you first is bessie beneath welcome to a real life area in cornwall uk this has eight farms two sheep one pig one horse two cow one arable and a contractor's yard you also have custom crop textures animals and yards are built into the map multiple cell points 98 fields ranging from large to small grass and arable small forests bga realistic dem terrain Oxygen David's lighting adjustments, seasons ready, and manure system ready mod, as our manure mod system ready it words as well. This is by Dusty Dave, and it is a very beautiful map, as you can tell. We got a lot of stuff, super detailed. Dusty Dave is known for being incredibly detailed. Let's jump in and let's take a look at the PDA and see exactly what we get to start with. So this is going to be your PDA right here. Starting off with, let's see, let's take that area and we'll sell that so you know exactly what we're starting with. We're starting with field seven, which is gonna be grass. Field nine, four, six, you get your main farm yard as well as 25 through here as well. Um, so that is going to be three grass fields, a wheat field and an oat field. Are they ready to harvest or anything like that? Absolutely they are, that is great news. And then if we move over here to field 15, you also get that as well. If you want to sell that, I figure a lot of you guys will sell that, but it is over by the pig or the uh, sheep rather. So if you want to have something closer over there, you can. That is going to be completely uh, cultivated up. There's nothing in there. Otherwise, there's nothing else that you get. We'll go ahead and buy the rest of the outside of the map. It is nice to have that being zero dollars as well. Usually the outside of the map is zero and some maps it's like a bajillion and yeah, you just can't get around from there. Here's your map. You got a bunch of really cool stuff here. The fields are are completely different sizes than you've seen before. Good looking stuff around here. You've got animals all around the map, multiple farms. Again, you have eight different farms. Insane right there, insane. What do you get in new farmer mode? Well, you get some pretty hefty stuff, to be honest with you. You get your John Deere 6250R. That's one with 300 horsepower, the big one. You also get the Fent 720. This is one with 240 horsepower, or 7, 724, sorry. This is also the one with the larger engine. Uh, you also get a Massey Activa and something 
different. You get a New Holland FR 780. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, you also get that with a corn head and a pickup head as well. Trailer, header, plow, cultivator, cedar, planter with front tank. You also get a fertilizer, rear mower, um, or trailed mower rather, your New Holland disc bind. You get a tether, windrow, baler, front loaders. You get multiple attachments for your front loader bells and for doing forage, as well as a header trailer and a John Deere weight. Very, very good stuff there. I dig this map, man. I really do. Uh, of course, Dusty Dave is known for doing extremely beautiful and well-detailed maps. This is no exception. No exception by far. And your last mod today, we're already there, the GEA Mix Feeder Animal Feeding Systems. This is by LS Mod Company as well as a few others. Um, you will need Global Company to run this bad boy right here. So the GEA Mix Feeders and Feeding Robots on the monorail increase the efficiency of the feeding process in your daily dairy farm and uh, benefit from precise group feeding optimal feed management in addition to large cow shed where you could feed the kitchen feeding robot can be grown adjustments via feeding time and adjustment of mixing ration all that good stuff tech specs for this so the gea mix feeder it's going to cost you one hundred ninety thousand dollars. bunker capacity is 120,000 liters maintenance is 100 bucks per day dimensions are approximately 13 meters by 21 meters if that helps you out any Raw materials required silage, hay, and straw, and you get TMR. You also have the large cow shed, which is going to cost you $250,000, holds 2,000 animals, maintenance is $80 per day, and dimensions are approximately 68 meters by 91, so incredibly massive. And with that, that is going to be it for today. Very short, sweet, to the point. Not a whole lot going on today in the world of farming sim, at least where mods are concerned. If you haven't seen today's farm sim news yet, that will be linked in the first pinned comment below. Make sure you guys go check that out. And that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Enjoy the Goham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, I hope you have a great day and a great weekend. We will see you later. Peace!